once you guys really start blowing up though like how does your life change in terms of her, how you're moving around and shit? do you all of a sudden just feel like a celebrity but you're still living in that area I ain't gonna lie it, it got the feeling different because from being like who I was to people steady walk, running up trying to get pictures and shit like that I don't know it was crazy like from being a regular person to now you somebody people running up trying to get pictures and want autographs Everybody asking for money when they want to ask you for none. Like, that would be different. I ain't gonna lie. So at the time, like, I, I was heavy on, like, GBE. Who would you uh, consider, like, the original GBE? Because I know y'all got 300, GBE, and then OTF. But at the time, it seemed like, it felt like y'all all were underneath the GBE umbrella. So, it, was, like, it was really, like, we was, we all it was really was under, under everything. It was, like, but it was just, like, certain people, like, rapping, doing this, certain people rapping, doing this. And then you got some other people over there that don't rap, and they that. That's what we was doing. So shit, we had the rappers in GBE and we had the rappers in OTF. That's how we was doing it. And who would you consider like the original GBE rappers? It was just really, I really say like Keith, Fredo, and me. We we really was like the main people like, you know, like that was doing it. It seemed like Dirk was GBE, but then he also always claimed OTF, but it was, you know. It was like, we all was like, we all was like on some one, on the, on the one type shit. Everybody was, GBE was claiming OTF and shit. That and then OTL was like claiming GB, so you know how that was. And then that's how y'all formed 300. Like, when did that? Now, 300 been apart. Like, 300 was before GB and OTF. That's what GB and OTF come from, 300. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, who started 300? Like, all right, we 300. I don't know. Some people, we was in the hood back then a long time ago, and motherfuckers was high reading signs and shit. 300? They came from that Sparta. No, ain't no Sparta. Folks. <laughs> no, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, we, bro, we were saying that shit before the Spartans, bro. Really? But that's a pretty hard ass movie, though. You can't Don't never say, say this shit. You can't never say we weren't saying that shit before the Spartans. Look it up. When did Spartans come out? I don't know. When did Spartans come out? Well, I've always thought the same thing, too, though. No, just look it up. When did Spartans come out? I remember seeing that with a girl in maybe 2006. <laughs> we been doing this shit since 2003, 02. In your face. So nothing just in particular. It was just like it was like the older guys already going with it. I don't know. I think it was like cause it, the shit that was going on. Like it was you had six hundred, and then you had people talking out two hundred. Yeah. Then yeah. we came on some three hundred shit. Then and that's when a movie came out. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Did you ever see it? No, I never. No, I never watched that shit. That's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You never seen three hundred? Yo, no, I ain't never seen that shit. Wow. Have you seen like the viral TikTok uh, trend they got with your song? <clears throat> Which one? It's like uh, the drink song where everybody. Gets oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Cup. I seen that shit. It was one nigga. Yeah, like forty cups with drink at the top of it. I'm like, what the fuck? They tripping? I definitely seen that shit. Yeah, I know you had to see it, right? Mm-hmm, I seen that shit. I don't got no TikTok though, so it's like I don't be really seeing a lot of shit that's going on, on TikTok. You know, one person that I interviewed that I wanted to get your side of the story is uh, SD. Who you guys were around early mm-hmm. on? Yeah. Do you remember why you guys fell out? I don't know. I don't know. Shit, SD, I, SD always shit, was on his own shit. So you know how that shit go. I don't know. So SD wasn't like your homie. He was just like uh, so so homie, really. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he from like Blackgate. Or, yeah, he from Blackgate Way. He was from Blackgate Way. And that's where Ken Studio was. Like yeah, yeah. Right. So that's kind. I think Sosa said that's how you kind of even know uh, SD from the studio and shit. Yeah, hell yeah. That's exactly what it is. So when did like Tato and Ball Out start coming around? When Tato and Ball Out, yeah, like actually Tato was like folks cousin, so he just started coming around and then Ball Out was from the area, so he just started coming around. Shit like that. Okay. Is Ball Out from O Block? Ball Out really, yeah, he from like O Block and three hundred type shit. Got it. Um, what'd you think when you saw me go to O Block? Huh? Were you impressed? Well who were you? Yeah. I ain't see that. You went to Oblock? <laughs> yeah, you never see that? Stop lying. You went nah, to Oblock like, What was it, like two years ago, yeah, a year ago? Yeah, gave our money and all type of shit. Yeah, it was, it was a great I time. I ain't never see that shit. I was out there. I was with Fredo well, Bang. I got to go do some research. I ain't even going to lie. My mom, I ain't never see that shit. <laughs> you got research to do on that? Yeah, all you got to yeah. do is watch like a nine-minute YouTube video. It should be all right. Bro, I got to go see, bro. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. Plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.